Hey Cogman Academy, this is farmer Eric from Green City Growers and I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up some of your uh, egg carton greenhouses. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do to get these started is to add some drainage holes in the bottom. Uh, our seeds, they need water at all stages of their life, but it's really about finding the right balance of like having the soil be too dry or too moist. Uh, so adding the drainage holes means we can water relatively frequently and any excess water will just drain out to the bottom and we won't have to worry about our plant roots sitting in there. So right now I just have a knife. You can use a thumbtack or pretty much anything sharp um, to make some holes in the bottom. So I'm using a knife and I'm making two holes in the bottom of each, uh, each little cell. So do that. Be careful, knives are sharp. So similar to how we were adding our soil during the indoor growing, um, we want to make sure that it's moist but not soaking wet. So I have a spray bottle of water here. Uh, right now we can see the soil is incredibly dry. So we're just going to spray it with some water like so. And we'll know that it's moist enough when we can sort of form like a dirt ball. Um, and it won't crumple apart in our hands. So we'll give this a nice spray. Yeah, clearly we still need a little bit more water. So speed up this process a little bit. So yeah, right now um, the soil is getting a little bit moister, but if we form it into a ball like so, uh, it sort of crumbles a little bit. Um, it's not like, yeah, it's not fully formed. So we're gonna add just a little bit more water So I was starting to change color pretty much all the way through. Now we form a dirt ball, goes back and forth, does not fall apart in our hands. And this is the uh, right moisture content that we're looking for. So now we're gonna take our soil, put it into each of our cells like so, and we'll fill them up pretty much all the way to the top. Uh, so our roots, our plants roots can have as much room to grow in here as possible. We'll get rid of any leaf litter. And we'll end up with something like this. So I have a bunch of different types of seeds with me today. I have some dill, um, I have some lettuce, some beets, and I have some cilantro as well. Um, so a rule of thumb that we typically use for outdoor planting, um, instead of just like uh, microgreens like we were growing in our class, um, we want to plant our seed about as deep as the seed is big. So for example, a lettuce seed like these are incredibly small. So we don't, we aren't going to be planting these like an inch deep. Uh, with these, we're just going to sprinkle them right on top like so. And we'll gently tap them into the soil. And that's how um, most of our smaller seeds are going to end up. So we have, let's do the dill next because it's also on the smaller side. And we have some dill seeds. Got a couple of those and then right in on the surface. And like so. Yep. Um, next up we have some of our larger size seeds. Um, so that would be our cilantro and our beets. We'll get to the beets in a second. Uh, but yeah, the cilantro is a little bit bigger. And to make sure that we're getting good germination rates, we're gonna plant a couple seeds in each cell. So we planted 
uh, sort of sprinkled some of the lettuce seeds on there, um, put a few dill in, and we're gonna do three cilantros. Because uh, these ones are a little bit bigger, we're gonna bury them just a little bit. So about maybe eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. We'll toss our seeds in there. Cover them up like so, and we'll do that for this row right here. Lastly, we'll finish up with the beets. The beets are the biggest of the seeds that we have. Um, still like on the smaller side, but a little bit bigger. Um, so these ones also because they're root vegetables, uh, they're gonna, their job is to go down into the soil and dig um, using their roots. So these ones can go down a little bit farther. Um, so we'll go probably like up to my first knuckle, about a half inch deep. Yeah, let's do two per two per cell. So we got like so. Plop this in here. Plop that in there. Perfect. Now uh, we're gonna finish up by. We don't have to water anything quite yet because our soil, uh, the soil is already moist enough. So we're just going to close this up. We're going to label, make sure we know where everything is, or you can make a key. Uh, all right, lettuce, dill, cilantro, and these two, and beets up here. So yeah, now that we have our greenhouse uh, planted, the next step is to, uh, going to be to find a good location for it. So typically you're going to want to find an area of your house that has lots of sunlight. Um, so it can be like by a windowsill, particular, uh, ideally a south facing window because that gets the most amount of sunlight. But really anywhere that you can find um, good amounts of light, we'll leave that there. And uh, all we have to do next is water it every day or whenever the soil starts to look dry. And once our seeds start to germinate, um, we'll open the cover up, give them a little bit more ventilation, some more space to grow. Yeah, besides that, I think uh, this is looking pretty good. They got everything planted. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you guys next time.